Project 12 is beeping and flashing. I am going to plug this wire into the positive battery terminal and you may want to turn down your volume because there's going to be a sound that may be a little loud. Here we go. The speaker produces a two-tone sound while the tricolor LED alternates between the colors red and green, like a traffic light. And the microprocessor is controlling what the speaker and tricolor LED do. This wire is connected between programs A and C, so connecting in different combinations will allow the microprocessor to do many different tasks. Project 13 is varying tone and beeping. This project is fairly similar to the previous one, except you'll notice that we have the variable resistor included. And you'll find out why we do in a little bit. I'm going to connect this wire to the battery term terminal. Volume warning, in case it gets loud. And you may notice that the speaker and tricolor LED alternate more quickly than in the previous project. The colors change and the sounds change at a quicker rate. The variable resistor is used to adjust that rate. I can turn it up. Now be aware that as the rate increases, the light is going to change color much more quickly, so do not watch this part of the video if you think that you may be prone to seizures or like if you have epilepsy. Here we go. Now we're on the highest setting. The speaker is quickly alternating between tones and the tricolor LED between colors. It kind of sounds like, to me, the tone that the wheel on the Price is Right makes when it is spun. Now I'm going to decrease the rate, and now it is much slower. The microprocessor is controlling the rate at which the tones and colors alternate but it is programmed using the variable resistor. Project 14 is make a rainbow. I am going to turn this circuit on and the white wire here is connecting programs A and F on the microprocessor. When I plug it in, you will notice that the tricolor LED is white, although it may not appear like that to the camera. But as I turn the variable resistor, the color of the LED will change. And it will give you rainbow colors. I'm very sorry that the LED may not appear clear to the camera. The effects are best in a dark area so I tried to put this circuit in the corner of my room where the least light comes, but that is the best that I can do right now. Project 15 is persistence of vision. This project will teach how lights can appear beyond continuously even though they may be blinking at a very fast rate. I am going to turn this circuit on and right now the LED blinks very very slowly but I'm going to gradually turn up the variable resistor. Now do not watch this part of the demonstration if you think you are prone to seizures caused by rapidly flashing lights. With that said, here we go. The LED, you can still notice the flashing, but 
Sometimes a light can be flashing so quickly that it appears to be on continuously. And this is called persistence of vision since your eyes are still receiving the light signal to your brain when the LED is turned off. In the intervals between the flashing light are very small, so it is very difficult to notice. They appear to fuse together and make a continuous light. Fluorescent light bulbs are actually flashing very rapidly and half the time you see one that is on, it's actually off and that is conserving energy. Project 16 is Soundbox. This project will allow you to hear different sounds that are built into the microprocessor that can be played through the speaker. We have the push button connected to the microprocessor and one of the wires is connected to the MI1 terminal. These terminals all allow you to access different sounds built into the microprocessor. I'm going to push the button and the first sound is a rooster crowing. It's pretty fast. Now I'm going to do sound number two. Just move the wire over to the MI2 terminal and repeat. Now it makes like a farting sound. Now for terminal three, the sound is an electronic alarm. Number four, a person screaming. Five, a doorbell. I like that sound. And this could make a good electronic doorbell on this setting. But now, lastly, I'm going to do MI6 and a guy laughing. And this shows how the microprocessor creates the sounds. It sends a pulse sequence to a particular sound to the speaker. Project 17 wired sound box is very similar to the previous one, but we have a direct connection from the M plus terminal to either of these five MI terminals <laughs> that allow the microprocessor to play different sound effects. You can start with number two and then move to the subsequent ones. And the main difference in this project is that, once again, you have a direct connection from M plus to either the MI terminals and the M plus terminals acting like the positive battery terminal since it is connected directly to the actual one through this wire. And then the gray wire connected from the push button tells the microprocessor which sound to play depending on how you, which term, MI terminal it is connected to. So I'm not going to demonstrate the sounds again, but I did want to give you an idea of the differences between Project 16 and 17. Project 18 is DJ Playback. This project is very well involved and it allows you to be a DJ. This circuit will allow you to manipulate and change the quality of recorded sounds, just like a real DJ would manipulate the music using a complex computer system. Now, I already played the different tones in Project 16, but 
you're going to get to hear a few of them at different settings, which are adjustable using the VR resistor. Let's begin. I have the farting noise. I know it's very humorous, but... When I turn the variable resistor, the speed and pitch of the sound change it. The higher the frequency of the sound, the faster it will sound. The lower the frequency, the lower pitch the sound is. Now I can do this with the next tone, which is an alarm. Kind of sounds like a ghost. You can interpret these sounds as new ones depending on the pitch and speed at which they are played. So there's so many different combinations you can make. Now it sounds like a cricket at a very high frequency. Sounds like a, a hamster laughing quickly. Now it sounds like a rabbit. Now lastly, sound number one. The rooster. So you could turn this knob at a very fast rate to really get some weird noise going on. And this could be a good entertainment circuit, except it makes sounds and not music. But it's very interesting how computers can really change the characteristics of any kind of sound make it sound different. 19 is motorcycle engine sounds. I am going to place this wire into the M plus terminal on the microprocessor and you will hear what sounds like the idling engine of a motorcycle. You hear a popping sound. I'm going to gradually turn the variable resistor to the right and you will hear the sound get louder as if a motorcycle is accelerating faster. Now it's at full speed and it sounds just like a fast moving motorcycle. And then if you want to slow down, you would turn the variable resistor to the left as if the motorcycle is slowing down and then idling again and then removing this wire from the M plus terminal is like turning off the engine. Placing it back in is like starting the engine. And you can turn the knob at different rates to pretend that you are accelerating or decelerating. The microprocessor is programmed to create electrical impulses at the same frequency as a motorcycle engine. Therefore, when the impulses go to the speaker and are converted into sound, they sound just like a real motorcycle.